Hi, this is Gypsy Sphere here with you, and I am um, doing my show, Ask Gypsy Spirit, and it is where people write in and ask me a question, and I give you advice. Uh, if you want your own, if you have a question you'd like to ask me, uh, I will be happy to answer it for you and put it on YouTube. I also send you a copy of the link. If you would like to have a question of yours answered, you can go to the bottom of um, the, you can go to the box and it gives you the information and how to go about doing that. But this morning I have this letter. Now I have not read this letter. Okay. <laughs> so you're hearing it as I'm hearing it for the first time as well. So let's take a look. Dear Gypsy Spirit, I am writing in hopes to get some clarity on my marriage. My husband and I have been married for 32 years. We are in our mid-50s. Okay. We have a beautiful family. When we first got married before uh, children, we enjoyed swinging with other couples. Oh, my. Okay. We stopped swinging after we started our family. That part of my life has been over since I became pregnant with my first child. I have never thought about it anymore. Over the past six months, my husband has brought up the idea of swinging again. I love my husband and really want to see him happy, but my swinging days have been over for a long time. I should hope so, right? <laughs> um, but I want to make my husband happy, so I agreed to go to a swingers bar with him. They still have those? <laughs> As we were dancing on the floor. I was having a good time dancing when suddenly I noticed my husband had his hands all over another woman's crotch that was dancing right next to us. I was so hurt, I stopped dancing and walked off the floor. But you knew what you were getting into, agreeing to go to the uh, swinging place. So why were you hurt? So anyway, let's get back to the, to the letter. My husband followed me off. The dance floor and asked me what was wrong he even said I was just touching her pussy what is the big deal <laughs> okay please help me figure out how to convince my husband that swinging is not good for us anymore <laughs> okay um, I don't need to laugh this is uh, you know uh, this has got to be for real because you can't make this shit up, right? Um, here's my thoughts on it. First of all, um, yeah, I mean, you guys had a great time in your younger years doing crazy things. We all do crazy things when we're young. Um, I'm guessing that you probably got married. If you're in your mid-50s, you probably got married in your 20s. You've been married for 30-some-odd uh, years. Um, so... You know, you say you want to make your husband happy. Um, it sounds to me, I, I mean, I'm guessing that you probably you were a stay-at-home mom and did everything to make your children and your husband happy. Um, but what about you? What have you done to make yourself happy? And uh, the fact that, you know, you agreed to go with your husband to the swinging bar, what were you expecting? I mean, were you expecting to just go dancing and... And him not look or, you know, touch other women. Because, as to my understanding, and I've never been to one, but I've heard about them. That's what, you know, swinging bars are about. Swinging parties and swinging bars. That's what they do. So you knew what you were getting into. But the, the what really um, concerns me is the fact that you, you give, made a compromise into something that, you did not agree with. A long time ago, uh, a, a friend of mine who was a, a bit of a mentor to me, a spiritual mentor, had uh, once told me, never make compromises that you're not comfortable with. And I didn't understand what she was talking about then, at that time, but after, shortly after I got into a crazy relationship, and now I understand what she was talking about. Um, the thing is, is, uh, you know, when, when you make compromises with people, 
especially in relationships, you know, romantic relationships or even with family members that you're not comfortable with, then you're giving your power over to somebody else. When you're not standing in your own truth, you're giving your power away. So, you know, what you really should have done from the very first get-go when he asked you about it or even mentioned, let him know that that's not a part of your life anymore, that you don't, you don't want to do that. That's, it was fun when you did it, um, but you're not into it. Y'all need to try to find something else that will make you both happy. Um, it also sounds to me, I mean, I don't, maybe you did talk to him or, or whatever and tell, told him that you didn't like it. And if you did and he still wanted to do it, that tells me that he doesn't have, you know, he, he's showing disrespect to you, to your feelings and your needs. So, I mean, I, I'll tell you, I had a, a somebody, a young woman called me one day and you know, for a tarot reading. And she was wanting to know about her boyfriend, how, you know, what their, if their relationship was going to last and where it was at. And she had uh, just told me that her boyfriend likes to, for her to, to have sex with other men and videotape it. And I, and he enjoys that. He enjoys watching the videotapes. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, hold up. You are having sex with other men and videotaping it for your boyfriend? And she's like, yeah. I said, are you okay with that? She said, oh, I love it. You know, and, and she just went on, you know, I mean, this is something she enjoys doing. And I said, okay, okay, fine. If you enjoy it and it's something that you like to do, then okay. But if it's something, had the, had it, had she given me a different answer and said, no, I don't like doing this. Um, but you know, I want to make my boyfriend happy and hang on to him. I would have told her to stop and find her a new boyfriend. Uh, or either find some uh, find some sort of compromise that they're both happy with, but it sounds to me, I mean, based on what you wrote, is that you're not comfortable with the swinging thing anymore, and so you're you're letting somebody uh, cross over your boundaries. You're not staying true to yourself. So this is what happens. You keep doing this. If you continue to do something that you're making compromises on that you're not happy with, what happens is you become very resentful um, and, and bitter. But not just towards a person, but angry with yourself for allowing it to happen. Um, if you continue to allow something to happen in your life that you're just not comfortable with, that you don't want it, then the resentment just builds and builds. And then finally you end up having like this massive explosion. Um, or you just find yourself very angry. That's what li life is not about, you know, being angry all the time. We're supposed to be happy, but the only way that we can really be happy is when we live in our own truth and, and stay true to ourselves, stand in our own truth and, and set those boundaries. Because if you don't, then, you know, whoever you're with, they're just going to walk all over you. So I find this, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not laughing at you, um, or the situation. I just, you know, it, it's not, I've never done the swinging thing. I, I've probably done far worse, but this is just kind of unusual to me. I have known people that have gotten into the, to the, uh, to swinging and I love that old, um, I, I love to watch All in the Family, and they do have an episode where Edith uh, tries to make friends uh, <clears throat> with these people that are swingers, and, and they end up coming over, and um, they don't know that they're, Archie and Edith don't know that they're swingers, so they actually meet these people. It's really funny, but, um, but yeah, you definitely have to stay true to yourself. That's, that's the only answer that I have to you. Just tell him you don't want to do it and don't do that anymore. And, um, you know, it sounds to me like also there's some things that he needs to work on for himself as well. And his, his destination to his own happiness is not your destination. Uh, you are responsible for your own happiness. He is responsible for his own happiness. And so, uh, you, you have to, make yourself happy first.
and then you work on other people. It just sounds to me like you've been like a really dedicated mom and wife all your life. And, and now that the kids are gone, you, it's just your husband. But what about you? Start taking care of you. Start making, you've made everybody else happy all your life or, you know, for the past 32 years. So let's, uh, make it start making yourself happy and I I know that by doing the things that you did as a mom and as a wife over the years it's, it's brought happiness into your world but it's time for you to to venture out onto some new things what have you wanted to do all your life it would it be artwork or or something start start doing that and, and focusing on yourself don't do things that you don't want to do so um, I hope this helps and again um, if you have a question that you would like for me to answer, uh, you can go to the box below and uh, check it out. It gives you all the instructions on what you need to do. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you like, if you would like to see more of my videos and and see my um, tarot readings, then please hit the subscribe button so you will get a notice every time I put something out. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.